and welcome back to a <laughs> another Dungeons Dragons and Space Shuttle stream. Yay! What were we working on last time? I don't know. We had a bunch of stuff going on. We actually managed to make some pretty good progress in a lot of the quest lines um, last stream. And I thought that I had found a loophole for the vibranium. But I didn't, because you can't actually smelt the vibranium dust. So we'll need to actually get the Mars regolith stone. But let's see. We had started working on the advanced machine frames. I did pull the rest of the materials that we need for that. I spent a fair bit of the last few days just sort of hanging out on the server, um, getting things sorted. I will show stuff off after we finish this quest. So, you may notice that the blood altar has been changed a little bit. It is still the tier 4, but I've added some ruins of capacity and speed ruins. So this now holds, I think, 50,000 rather than the 10,000 that it originally held. And the speed ruins have tremendously helped with um, increasing production of the slates and that sort of thing. And you will notice that up there we have our astral sorcery platform as I walk off the edge of the little hill. Sorry while we get stuff sorted out, my internet has been... Just a little bizarre lately. Okay, well, it does say we're live. Um, so anyway, yes, Astral Sorcery Platform. Had to make a lot of ladders, but hey, we have our starlight crafting altar set up. And this should have enough space to branch up to the next tier if that is required. So that's good. I'm not sure how far they'll want us to progress in astral sorcery, but we at least have a start. Okay, I do have slime boots on. Perfect landing. Right, so we have the machine frames. Now the reinforced machine casings. Our cupro nickel heating coils, machine frames, and steel plates. We need 34. That makes one per. Okay, so we have those. Uh, we're going to need a lot of steel plates. And then
cupron nickel is nickel and copper in the rolling machine. Running low on copper. Alrighty, that'll get going. This stuff was needed to make the empty, empty coolers. Apologize in advance if I'm a little slower on the uptick, uptick than usual. Uh, it's been a long morning and I'm sitting here with two cups of coffee next to me that I'm slowly working my way through. So we need two water, which is just two buckets of water, and then two redstone. I don't have two buckets of water. Not surprising. I should put a um, water source in the house somewhere at some point. There's one water cooler, two water coolers. Uh, not a redstone. You. You're what I need. I need blocks of redstone. Also helps if I can spell things correctly. Okay, so there are those two. Fission reactor port, which is fiss fission reactor casings. Vision reactor port. I need two of you guys. Whoops, actually, I need you back. So, I don't really have a particular purpose for making these. I don't plan on setting up a nuclear reactor. It's more just because I want to try to do a full completion run of this quest pack. Reactor door. I need more reactor casings.
I need 33 reactor casings now. which requires basic plating, which is going to be graphite, lead, and dilithium in the rolling machine, but the rolling machine is currently occupied. I just turned my head too quickly and made myself dizzy. It has definitely been one of those days. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of steel plates. Thank you for the 95 bits, Jay. That just startled me. <laughs> Very much appreciated. So I don't think I asked, how was your Friday? Uh, right, with this stuff we were going to start setting up the elven portal. Because to get the next tier of blood orb... We need, what is that stuff called? We need a block of dragon stone. To get the dragon stone, you have to trade mana diamonds through the elven portal to get the dragon stone. So yeah, that's going to be fun. And then that takes 40,000 life points. At a tier four altar. It's good that things are going better than yesterday. starting to run low on nickel as well. I always put them in the wrong order. Oh, so the um, little red dragon that we hatched yesterday. It now has a name. Somebody suggested the name Sin. Short for cinnamon or cinnabar. One of those. Um, yeah. So of the four colors of ice dragons, we have three of them. We have one of the ice dragon. We still need a light gray, a light blue, and a sapphire in the ice dragons, and we need a green for the fire dragons. Oops. Before that will be completed. So that might be something that we do some of today. Because I know where there are a couple of more fire dragon dens. I 
at least I know where there are some in the uh, Twilight Forest. That's what I was thinking of. Twilight Forest. Like I said, it's been a long day, so I apologize. I need one more set, which means I need more copper. That might be something that I end up doing over the weekend, is going through everything that's in the Void Ore Miner chest. Which we should probably check and see what all is in there. Bouncy, bouncy, we Oh, close. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to process. So I probably will end up doing that off stream. The nice thing with the tier two void miner is we get rock crystal. And eventually we might have enough cryonite to hit tier three. But that'll probably be a while. Stupid brain eating slime, go away. I have no brain left. It has all dissolved because of work. Not sure why I just did that that way. Go back there. Also, if anyone in the community plays Dead by Daylight, feel free to hit me up on Discord, because I am probably going to be playing a lot of it. It is their four-year anniversary event. So, lots and lots of blood points available to be obtained. Chill times with friends is good. It is good to take a break from the world for a while and just sort of hang out and do nothing. Uno is fun. Okay, so those mana pools are full. Uh, I need to make the Natura pylons. No, I think that you guys can stay here. Can you stay here? Do I need this crafting table? Okay, yeah, those guys can stay there. So we need the stuff. Because to make the Natura pylons, we need to make mana pylons. There is one. There is two. There is one Natura pylon. And dos. So we have the glimmering living wood, we have the living wood, we have the natura pylons. This stuff here is needed for what? I think the elven portal core. Yeah, the elven gateway. 
with teleportation cores. Nope, come back here, you. And teleportation core one, core two. So now we can come over here, look up Elven Gateway Core. Boom. There we go. Now, where's my lexica? Because I have no clue how to set this up. We're also going to need diamonds. If you throw a block of diamonds in, does that make a block of mana diamond? It does. It uses up a crap ton of mana, though. Can you make a block of mana diamonds? You can. And that uses up a lot less mana, I think. Maybe. I don't need 32, though. Not as far as I'm aware. Uh, I need the Wand of the Forest, too. I ended up having to make another wand at some point because I had lost the previous one. And it's cool. Inter I just ran into a cocoa bean. Uh, interruptions are part of life. Oh, hi. That's not quite what I intended to do, but that still works. Um, yeah, interruptions are a part of life. I apologize in advance. This is going to be a very squirrel day. <laughs> I need to figure out an emote for that. I actually just need to figure out another emote in general. We have spot for another one. Uh, not there, not there. Natural apparatus. It's now raining. Portal to Elfheim. Okay. I really should have an axe for this. I don't have an axe. That is all well and good. So, gateway core, you. One of you, one of you, and then you again. That's a lost piece of jungle wood. <laughs> yes, how dare work make you do the job that you are getting paid to do. I know some people that would agree with you on that. Uh, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted.
At least two Natura pylons with the mana pools directly below must be laid out in an 11 by 11 area around the core. To open up the portal, simply right click the core with a wand of the forest. Cost is divided up between all of them. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, would help if the nature of pylons were there. The goodbye hydrangeas. Okay, it didn't take too much to open it. Let's see what happens if I chuck that through. We thank you very much for providing us with a repository of, you, of the knowledge from your world. Elves are interested in trading some materials such as Dreamwood, Elementium, and Pixie Dust, or Dragonstone. Well, we have a decent supply of Pixie Dust, so we're not going to need more of that. Living Wood for Dreamwood. Two Mana Steel for Elementium. We're going to need that. Oh, that's a different kind of Pixie Dust. Okay, we might need some of that. And Dragonstone, which is what we're looking for here. So have at it. Thank you. Much appreciated. Pleasure doing business with you. Still not going to be enough steel plates. I'm glad I spent part of the weekend making more steel too, because that's going to take a while. What did I need the block of dragonstone for? The master blood orb. That's right. This will take a minute while it absorbs all the blood. Or almost all the blood. I think that there will be about 10,000 left after this is done. At least there should be about 10,000 left after this is done. You know the thing about coffee <laughs> is when it makes your brain start going five million miles a minute but the rest of you doesn't speed up to match. Ow. And another one. I am still so tired, <laughs> but my brain is going, nah, we've got things to do. So many ideas. And I'm just going, but why? <laughs> Imbued slate block. Is it just four? 
It is just four. Okay. And a divination sigil would probably be helpful. Also, dagger. Where did my dagger go? There you are. So let's see how much is in here. Oh, that should be good. I just almost ended myself. <laughs> How much blood did that take? 15. Oh, I'm going to need more. To the food storage we go. Pixies up there are laughing at me. don't know how much blood you've taken already. Ow. I'm pretty sure that upstairs I have a collection of potions of instant health. So let's go ahead and grab those. I have a lot of potions of healing. Essential for every blood mage. Get your potions of healing today. Can you imagine if Minecraft was an RPG type thing and just walking into a town and seeing an advertisement like that? I'm going to take you out. And just... Fill this up to 15,000. This is why I typically do work like this offline. Because it takes ages. If we get to that point, I might start setting up the Ritual of Sacrifice down under the altar, get a mob spawner set up, and all of that. That way I'll just have a permanent source of blood without having to worry about unaliving. Sixty six thousand of fifteen. It 
I think each poke gives you 200. You can make ruins of self-sacrifice that make it a little bit more efficient. But actually, what is the recipe of those? Ruin of self-sacrifice. A gem of self-sacrifice, blank ruin, inert blood iron. Sacrificial dagger. Eh, that's not too bad. It just requires a lot of glowstone. At least it doesn't damage armor. That is the one benefit to all of this, is that it does not damage your armor. Thirteen. Not too much longer to go. I promise that there will be more interesting stuff later in the match. Uh, later in the... not match. Later in the stream. Those are the words that I was looking for. My brain is still hooked on Dead by Daylight. Which, I will say, Dead by Daylight is one of those games that you have to be very careful when you're having conversations about it outside of the groups of people that know the game. Because I've talked about it in restaurants and such before and gotten some very weird looks. I'm waiting for the day when I'm talking about playing Killer and there's... I don't know, like an FBI agent or something sitting behind me. That would be interesting. Lag. There we go. Nope, you're supposed to go into the into the unknown no not gonna start singing trust me nobody needs to hear that even though I have talked about doing twitch sings before 12 more steel But I don't know, especially with the DMCA, DMCA, is that what it is? Uh, with all that stuff going on, I would definitely want to make sure to look closer at what kind of agreement Twitch has with the labels involved in that. To make sure that you wouldn't be shooting yourself in the foot. Sigil of Haste. Aurorium. Essence of the Gods. Demonic Slate. Haste Reagent. Diamond Promise. Ooh, do we have one of those? We do not. But it is a block of diamond. In here. I think. Yes, it is a block of diamond in there. With 160,000. So that's going to take a while. Going 
gonna need to make another demonic slate, but that is fine. I shall do that off stream so that we don't have to sit there and wait for blood. All the blood. I think that I'm still a little tired. Uh, there we go. Reinforced machine casings. Now we need ruby dust. Ruby dust. How does one make you... In the crusher, fluid sieving, grinder, pulverizer. Yay! Supermium large sword blade. Huh. Oh, and another carpenter? That's interesting. I didn't realize we'd be getting a carpenter as a reward down the line. Uh, white magic, telescope. In a starlight crafting altar. So we'll keep these materials on us. And is it turning to day? It is turning to day. So we'll have to wait until nightfall to finish that. There is our ruby dust. Put ruby dust in the electrolyzer to obtain a chrome dust. Mm. Three empty cells. Do I still have... No, I don't have it as one of the machines that's out. There's that. Empty cell. Alrighty, that'll process through. Rich slag. I need five of them. Which I happen to have. Yay! Rich Phytogrow is a fertilizer added by Thermal Foundation. It is intended to be used in the photo phytogenic insulator to produce plant outputs, so it can be used like bone meal to fertilize a 3x3 three three square centered on the block being clicked. Nice, and I need five. Nope, that's Rich Biomass. Rich Phytogrow. Pulverized coal, saltpeter. I 
I will do one better and make 16. Because I can. A watering can. Do I not have any? Oh, okay. 15, 18, and a plate. Oh, so I made a bunch of blazing pyrothium. So that's what's now working in the furnace. And I did spend a lot of time making more seeds. So now there's four of each of the ones that we planted a couple of streams ago, maybe. Sorry for having just smacked the microphone. Uh, I don't think that I need to collect copper for this challenge. Did I? I did just throw you. So this is for the mystical agriculture, have to collect a certain number of the essences, essence I, essence, what is the plural of essence? Would it just be essence? Thank you for the follow, Louie. You just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Welcome to the den. Hope that you are doing well. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk. I'm just jumpy today between being tired and being caffeinated. So there we go. We have our new watering can, which will get thrown into the Emmy system and promptly forgotten. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. It would help if I could spell. Okay, so chromium dust should be ready. There it is. We have some more uranium sitting in there. Uh, compressed air. Is it nighttime yet? What time is it? It's heading towards nighttime. So we need chrome ingots.
for which we need the industrial blast furnace. I think that we should be able to take down the isotope separator. Nope, I just put down the machine that I just picked up. Incomplete multi-block. I can't use you to break this, I need the wrench. Isotope separator can go back in there. Uh, probably should head up to the astral sorcery platform. That way we are up there and ready to go when the sun goes down. since I can never remember which tree I put the ladder on. I should just make an elevator and put a base platform down here. Instead of climbing up into the tree to do this. So we need a telescope. I am missing gold. I didn't check if I was wearing my slime boots. Okay, I was. <laughs> it's always a fun thing to remember mid-air. It's like if that's... At that stage, is there really a point in checking? I don't know. Okay, now we have our gold. That brain slime is going to try to attack me and be horribly disappointed since my brain all dissolved out of my ears at work. Now we should be able to make the telescope. Oh, resonating wand. There's always something. Sorry for consistently jumping off of the platform there, if there are people that are afraid of heights watching. I do apologize, let me know, and I shall stop. Because I completely understand having a dislike of heights. I do have a weapon. It's not my preferred weapon. Ow. You jerks just made me break some of my papayas. Where are those mangoes? My sword is whispering to me. It's telling me to kill everything. Mm. 
get it oh, back man. here. Once I get up onto the platform, I'm gonna have to check and see if those were papayas or mangoes. I don't know why it matters, but it kind of does. Here we go. We now have a telescope. With which we can watch the night sky. Neat. So, the blast furnace requires a 3x4 multi-block with a hole in the center. The first layer contains 9 casings, second layer contains 8 casings with an empty central hole. Third layer, again, contains 8 casings with a hole in the middle. Place the blast furnace in the front of the center bottom block and connect it to a power source. Place the blast furnace in front of the center bottom block. Heh. <laughs> One of these days, I am going to do that. Forget the slime boots and go splat. Okay, machine casings. Chrome dust. Don't need you. We'll need power. Uh, flux. Let's go with 4,000, 1,000, 9,000, 16. You'll do. I think that there's enough of you. Actually, let me break this block. That will show me where the power is coming in. 